what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here uh so yesterday some surprising details leaked uh well not surprising uh what actually is going to happen apparently in regards to our upcoming sequel halloween kills the script leaked or details from the script leaked online on the halloween movie subreddit i managed to capture a few screen grabs anyone else who saw this before was quickly deleted uh feel free to back me up in the comment section below uh i took some screen grabs of those of those uh of those details that were spoiled in the comment section on the subreddit or in the subreddit itself and it basically specifies how this movie is going to be picking up from the last film uh how michael myers is going to locate laurie strode and it does basically confirm that he will be going after laurie strode in this new film and there's several characters that are coming back. We know that Kyle Richards, who played Lindsay Wallace from the original 1978 film, is back. Tommy Doyle is back as a character. Uh, we have several characters from the original just reuniting. This is kind of like a Halloween reunion film as of, from what we have been seeing and all the things we know about the cast. And I expect them to start filming Halloween Ends within the next few months because Halloween Kills is set to be releasing uh this october and then halloween ends coming next october but to get into some things uh i want to just go over how this film is going to open so going forward this is going to be in spoiler territory so if you not want any spoilers regarding this film uh go ahead and just click this video off the movie opening shot of course is going to be Lori's house which is still on fire firefighters are going to be fighting to put out the flames but nothing is working uh one of the fighter fighters uh, is going to break open the trap that Lori had for Michael. Uh, and then he goes down into the basement. And then from there, he is killed. I won't go into too many details because I want all of those to be a surprise for all of all of you. Uh, and then what we end up seeing is Michael Myers. He just emerges from the burning house. I, I don't think we're going to necessarily see how he got out. But it's I think it's safe to assume that he got out after that firefighter uh broke that broke those bars that were keeping him there but he is going to be escaping and emerging from the fire i believe we saw a clip of that in the teaser that was released so backing up what i was saying there with that uh with that teaser and then some characters that are going to be reappearing marion chambers is going to be reintroduced because once Lori makes her way to the hospital uh we're picking up in the exact same night it's the exact same night we're going to pick up with the three stroll women uh riding in the back of the uh in the truck they got in they're going to the hospital and then marion chambers uh the lady who was with dr loomis in the first two films she's going to recognize the name strode because she's a nurse at the haddonfield hospital now and she's going to go to the aid of uh Lori strode now, getting into how Michael is going to be locating Lori, uh, Michael is going to come in contact with Julian again. So Michael is actually going to be walking down the road. And what's going to happen is Julian and his family, Julian's family for the most part, from what I recall and what I'm looking at in front of me, they're going to be attacked and assaulted by Myers. The only person that's gonna be left standing is Julian. Michael and Julian will have a standoff until Michael overhears on the radio in the car that Lori is located at Haddonfield Memorial. Uh, about some survivors being brought in from Haddonfield Memorial, one of them being Lori Strode. So he goes off into, into the night with the car on his way to the hospital to get Lori Strode. Now, what I want to address is why would he be after Lori Strode now when he wasn't after her in the last film? Because I know some people are going to ask that because uh, they're not paying attention to what they watch. Michael Myers now has a gripe with this person. This person tried to kill him. Now he has a reason to go after her. There was no reason to go after her in the last film because they are not related anymore. Just like there was no reason to go after her in the original film from 1978, he just did that simply because he saw someone on his porch, took an interest in them, and for some unexplained reason, we don't know why, he knows why, he just started stalking her and terrorizing her at night as well as her friends. Uh, going forward 40 years later in last year's halloween film he is not going after lori because he has no he has no reason to go after her lori was just someone lori was just the treat of the night back in 1978 she's no longer a treat to him 40 40 years later lori was the one obsessing over michael michael has no interest in lori any any further but now that lori has started beef with him michael wants to settle that beef 
there's no nothing going on here in regards to them being related or anything it's the same thing like if one of you guys got attacked by someone you would want to settle this you would want to find them and settle this so now that's why michael is going after the strokes uh but those are all the details that i'm going to share as of right now i'm actually expecting to get a copy of the script sent to me uh i also will just tell you briefly how the film is going to end lonnie the um the individual from the original film who was bullying tommy doyle michael is going to be sitting in lonnie's car just waiting and then that's going to bridge into halloween ends what he is waiting for i do not know i am not going to also once i do find that out i'm not going to i'm not going to spoil everything over this channel everything about the film will not be spoiled on this channel if you would like a copy of the script once i receive it uh, i will let you guys know when i get that and i will send you a copy of that script uh but let me know what you guys think about these details moving forward. Are you happy that the film is picking up right where the last movie left off? Let me know down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, movies, or movies you'd like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.